Uh, I wanted to be a painter from an early age and when I left my first art school I went for an interview in London and went to the Central School of Art and I got onto the wrong queue and was diverted into theatre design which I've never regretted because that led from theatre, designing for films, um, theatre, ballet, drama and then it led to films and I did illustration so I had a varied life and very lucky with a lot of travel in Italy South America, North America and at the moment now I'm painting again which I've always wanted to do and behind me are the ones that I've uh, been painting lately they're, they're called Angels uh, series or the Spirit of Landscape these are two of the angels and the big um, uh, influence of this came from the music of Muse I quite like working to music and I heard the uh, um, album that really hit me. Uh, I was driving through France, my marriage had just broken up, I was in a bad state and this music hit me. Uh, the words are wonderful, the music one to me and um, as I played the music I painted these. Uh, there's more coming and some of the other music is, uh, there's a couple more from different composers, but I'll talk about the Muse ones. Um, I find the whole music amazing. Um, I was very surprised, I don't really like that much pop music, but uh, they've got a lot of influences, as he'll suddenly burst into Tchaikovsky, and I don't think that's pretentious, I thought it was wonderful, and I quite like to do the same in painting I do. Um, not ruthlessly, but um, this, this was influenced by a man called Piazzetta, and I slightly used the poses, but then I updated it. Um, so these are about spirits. They take the human form, uh, because that's how people relate to them. Um, this one is called Endlessly, and hopefully it speaks for itself. The other one, just that, which you can't see, is called Time is Running Out. So those are the two tracks I was working from. And, uh, as I say, I hope they speak for themselves, but I was studying angels, did a bit of study on them, and I was very interested because the Christian and the Islam have the same angels, they have the same name, so I can't really work out what religious intolerance is all about. And uh, so I'm going from there. As I say, there are more of these on the way, um, and if, if, should, should you come to the exhibition or ever see any of these, there will be more. I'm going to work on a series. I've got another exhibition coming in Denmark next year, I think. So I shall continue working in this vein. I may very well change one or two of these already because the painting you can't see um, has an angel, but she's white. And when I was painting it, the colours came up very strongly. And I wish I'd made a Islam or Indian. Uh, but I was so pleased with the arm I'd already painted that I left away. <laughs> but I think I'll do another version with a, with a nice red dot in my head and, uh, and then try and appeal to, to, to all religions, really. And I'm not overtly religious, but there's, there's something which obviously, especially in music, I feel it quite a lot. And that's the way I'm going to go at the moment. Ideally, one of my uh, big wishes would be to uh, paint a mural in the church or something of that scale. I don't know if it's going to be possible. But I'm living in France at the moment, and I think it might be possible there because it's quite Catholic. So I shall uh, try and get these shown in France as well, see if there's any chance.